iPhone. Many uses in a learning environment. One, for example, is quick. Streaming live videos on site and being able to review it anywhere. I can video live from on site and catch all the action as it's happening. At the same time, students can watch this live in the classroom. But I don't have any students at the moment, they're on semester break. Even if they are on semester break, you can still set tasks for them so they can review this at home in their own time. The video is now available 24 hours. It can be accessed on YouTube, uh, the link sent to Twitter, and also on the Quick website. By using Quick, with the push of a couple of buttons, I can upload, record, and stream live all at the same time. And we now have something for our students to use. Learning happens at any time. We can use these videos to discuss in class, reflect on issues on site, and they can also access these videos in their own space and do more in-depth reflection. This is one of the readings I've been put onto, Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development and Problem-Based Learning by Tony Harlan. And um, I'm discussing this one in relation to the videos is because um, a lot of what they talk about here is, uh, as you can see here, um, about real life um, problems. Okay, so students learn in PBL curriculum through tackling real life problems, and um, that's what we're doing with these videos. Um, we're not taking videos um, necessarily all the time about the good things that happen, but we're taking videos about um, issues, mistakes that happen on site, um, because this is how we form uh, the, ref the reflective needs. Um, from these videos and the discussions and the peer discussions and the um, tutor and student discussions that we have here. And? I thought this was quite a powerful statement. If I had to reduce all educational psychology to just one principle, I would say this, the most important single factor influencing learning is what the learner already knows. Ascertain this and teach him accordingly. Understanding the learner and the learner's knowledge already gained. Because the videos are off the learners, it's relating old information to new.